So let's get to Gen Z and marketing. The first thing that, you, if you go back and, and Google this, what you're going to find is 95% of the articles are about how to market to Gen Z rather than what Gen Z is going to do with marketing. So there's some nuggets in here, though. Here's what you'll find. Um, they expect extreme personalization. Makes sense because they've grown up that way. They, they are in control of their content and what they're looking at. It needs to be a two-way conversation. That's what the marketing experts say. If you want to target Gen Z, it needs to be two-way. Because remember, everything's equal, and I can talk to any business I want. Why couldn't I? I can do it. What's the problem? Um, it needs relatability and humanization. You're going to hear a little bit about this uh, later. And that, that takes place um, um, inside the workplace, too. They, they need to understand. They, they uh, uh, support brands that are, are in line with their ideals. You got to make the message quick. The stat that they have is you have eight seconds. Gordon was talking to one of them and said, nah, it's more like three. I got three, you got three seconds to capture attention or it's gone. And everything is on demand. That's what they expect. Now that's how to market to them. So what are they doing bringing that forward? How are they going to market? Here's some, here's some more stats that you should know. They're buying everything online. By 2025, how you read this chart, is 85% of Gen Zers, or 55.6 million, will have bought something through a digital platform. Here's something interesting. The importance of brand reputation to generations. First, I'll show you the other guys. Boomers, 41% of boomers say, yeah, brand reputation, that's important. And it goes down with the uh, generations. Where do you think Gen Z falls? Does it fall less than Gen Y? Ooh, very nice. More, in fact, even more than boomers. But it's a different kind of the, the, what I'm concerned about in brand reputation is a little bit different. It's not that Yeti makes a great cooler. It's Yeti, and I'm making Yeti up, I don't know. Yeti stands for something, uh, brings something to the table, is, is socially conscious. That's what's important in a brand. And that's what the, the kind of companies I want to work for, too. That's really important. Uh, I'll just click through that one. Uh, desire for personalization and communication. These are the two high, in fact, let's do that. For Gen Z, entertainment had the highest demand for personalization. 57% of Gen Zers say, yeah, I want that content personalized. 43% uh, beauty. For the rest of the generations, the number one category was food and beverage, baby. That was ours. But for them, it's entertainment. Now, adults who follow a brand on social media, how many boomers do? 18%. Gen X? Double that, 36%. Gen Y, 53%. Gen Z, 61%. So you see the shift happening, right? They're following brands. But again, the brand has to represent or be in line with my thinking. Social network users who bought through a social network. In other words, I'm a Facebook user. I bought something through Facebook. And you can see the general trend going up to where over half of 18 to 24-year-olds have bought something through Facebook. This means they understand, I, I'm just going to keep hammering it, they understand social media. They get it. And the only reason that 14 to 17 is lower is they're 14 to 17. 